everybody, it is Tegan here again today, and for this video I am going to be doing the ultimate book tag, which was created by Chapter Chicks, I believe, and I just saw it floating around booktube, and I thought that it could be a really fun thing to do, especially because I haven't made a book video in a while, and I miss it so much, so I decided that I would do this fun tag. It's a pretty long tag, it's 25 questions long, and I just thought it could be fun to let you guys know a little bit more about me as a reader, and yeah, as it's such a long tag, I'm just gonna get right into it. Question number one is, do you get sick while reading in the car? I do not. I'm one of the very lucky few who is able to read in any moving vehicle and not get sick from it, and I love it so much, and it means I get to read so much more, and I'm so sorry if you do get car sick because that sucks so much. But yeah, I, it's just very amazing that I don't get car sick. <laughs> Question number two is which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? And that would be Jesse Andrews. Jesse Andrews wrote both Me and Earl and the Dying Girl and The Haters, and both of these books have really interesting ways of writing in them. For example, they both have a sort of script writing and they both have lists, and it just makes the books a lot more interesting to read and I just really enjoy how Jesse Andrews does that and I'm really hoping that he carries that on into his next book or two or however many more he writes. Question number three is Harry Potter series or the Twilight Saga give three points to defend your answer. Harry Potter one billion percent Harry Potter. If you know me at all, you would know that I'm completely obsessed with Harry Potter. It is like my life. I love it to absolute pieces. And I didn't particularly enjoy the Twilight Saga, so there's that. But point number one would be the magic. The magic in the Harry Potter universe is one of the best things, and who wouldn't want a book about magic? I mean, honestly. <laughs> Point number two is the world building of this story. You can, oh, just the entire world of Harry Potter is just incredible and JK Rowling did such an amazing job creating this huge world that is, can be traced back centuries and can, the characters can be traced back, their ancestry can be traced back, and there's even points that aren't in the book that you can go back and read because J.K. Rowling has written it, and there is so much world building in these books, and oh, she created an entire world, and that is amazing. And point number three is the characters. I love the characters in these books. They were written so well, and a lot of them are really relatable, and they're just fun characters to read, and I love the characters in Harry Potter. Question number four is, do you carry a book bag? If so, what is in it besides books? I don't carry a book bag. I When I go out places, I don't particularly bring a large bag either, just because I don't like carrying around a large bag. I also don't tend to bring books just to random places. If I'm going on like a vacation or if I'm going on like a long car ride, I will bring a book, but I don't particularly bring it to just random places. I normally have a book on my phone for in those situations. I, If I have a little bit of time, I can pull out my phone and read some on my phone. Question number five is, do you smell your books? Yes. Books have the best smell. Like, I'm not even gonna deny it. Like, books just have the best smell. Like, why wouldn't you smell your books. <laughs> Question number six is books with or without little illustrations, and I do read both of them. I do enjoy reading both of them, but books with little illustrations sometimes just make the book a little bit more interesting to read, and I just really enjoy that about the books, and like I said, I can read both of them, but just books with little illustrations sometimes make the book a little bit more fun to read. Question number seven is what book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? My answer for this one is definitely going to have to be It's Freeing Cupcakes by Lisa Schroeder. This book, when I first read this book, I loved it. It was one of my favorite books when I first read it, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely a kid's book, and going back and reading it, a little bit older, you can definitely tell that the writing is not very good in this at all. It's still a fun read, but like, it's definitely written for kids. <laughs> Question number eight is, do you have any funny stories involving books from your childhood? Please share. I don't really have any like super funny stories from when I was a kid with reading. 
When I, I do have a couple of stories though if you want to hear them. When Allegiant first came out, I wasn't able to get to it for a couple of days and I stayed off of everything. I didn't talk to anybody who I thought could have read the book. I didn't go online. I didn't go on anything until I got my hands on that book and I could read that book and I read it in a day. I cried. But, you know, yeah. So that happened. I just was not going to risk being spoiled for that book because Divergent at that time was my favorite trilogy and I just was not going to risk getting spoiled. And then I also just have the story, it's not a funny story, but from when uh, my dad used to read us Harry Potter when we were little and that sparked my Harry Potter joy and made me absolutely love the story and he that's just what made me a huge fan of the book today so thanks dad for that. <laughs> Question number nine is what is the thinnest book on your shelf and if we're talking like little tiny kids books it would have to be like one of the Katie Kazoo books because these books are only like 60 something pages long so it would definitely have to be one of those if we're talking little kids books but if we're not then it would probably be kindred spirits which was just a short story and this is like 62 pages long or something like that so yeah i've got quite a few short little kids books on my shelves <laughs> question number 10 is what is the thickest book on your shelf and that would definitely have to be harry potter and the order of the phoenix at 870 pages this is most definitely the thickest book on my shelf on my shelf. My parents have got like the Game of Thrones series and stuff on their shelves, but on my shelves it would have to be this book. Question number 11 is do you write as well as read? Do you see yourself in the future as being an author? Most definitely. I love writing. My dream is to see a book that I have written on a shelf in a bookstore or just even in a physical form. That's just my dream. I would love to be an author. I do want to go and work in like the publishing and editing industry. That's what I want to do, but I definitely do want to write my own books. Question number 12 is when did you get into reading? And I've been reading for as long as I can remember. I remember in like preschool, I was reading. We had like different levels of reading for each, like there was like different groups for each level of reading and I was in the highest group of reading for that and then they were like, oh the books that we're reading in here are still like too low for you so then they sent me off to read books in the library and that was just the best thing. And obviously my dad reading me the Harry Potter series when I was really little, that definitely sparked my love for reading. And I guess I've just always been around books because I don't, like my parents do enjoy reading and yeah books have just always been in my life and I can't imagine my life without them. Question number 13 is what is your favorite classic book and I'm going to be completely honest with you I don't think I've ever read a classic book and if I have then I've completely forgotten. Leave me suggestions down below for classic books that you think that I would enjoy because I'd love to read one I just don't think I've ever read one. Question number 14 is in school was your best subject English and it is definitely one of my best subjects. Since I've been a little kid my best subject has been English just because I enjoy it and it's fun to do. <laughs> Question number 15 is if you were given a book as a present that you had read before and hated what would you do? I would say thanks to the person that gave me the present and then I might gift it off to somebody that I think would really enjoy that book or I would just keep it on my shelf as a memento and add to my book collection. <laughs> Question number 16 is what is a lesser known series that you know of that is similar to Harry Potter or The Hunger Games? For this one I'm going with The Institute Trilogy by Kayla Howarth and this book is about a group of people called defectives who sort of have these powers and the government is trying to like stop all the people that have these powers and they put them into this place called the Institute to keep them locked up and safe and the entire world safe and it is a dystopian novel and I really enjoyed it and definitely you guys should all go and check this book out and check this entire trilogy out because it is really good. <laughs> Question number 17 is what is a bad habit you always do besides rambling while filming? I make my videos way too long. Does that count? I just talk way too much and my videos end up being like an hour long which some of you may have noticed and that is an issue. I also touch my hair a lot because it's just everywhere so I'm sorry if that annoys you because I do it a lot and I know that and I notice that while I'm editing my videos but like it yeah. <laughs> Question number 18 is what is your favorite word? My favorite word changes all the time. 
at the moment, my favorite word is probably surrounds. I don't know why. I just really like using that word and I really enjoy that word. So surrounds, but it'll probably change tomorrow because it changes all the time. <laughs> Question number 19 is, are you a nerd, dork, or dweeb, or all of the above? Probably all of the above because I... Yeah, probably all of the above. <laughs> Question number 20 is vampires or fairies and why? I'm gonna go with vampires because of Simon from Mortal Instruments. Question number 21 is shapeshifters or angels? Probably shapeshifters just because I find them really interesting and it's just cool how they can change into anything that they want to change into and I just find that really cool. So probably shapeshifters. Question 22 is spirits or werewolves. Can I go with both? Because I think I'm gonna go with both just because they're both so interesting and like spirits they've got like that like mysterious quality around them and I just really like that. Werewolves because one of my favorite TV shows is Teen Wolf and I just love the werewolves in that and I love the culture of werewolves and I just really enjoy it. <laughs> Question number 23 is zombies or vampires? Vampires once again. Vampires was already in a question but vampires because of Simon and also zombies. I'm not a big fan of gore and so that is an aspect of zombies. <laughs> Question number 24 is a love triangle or forbidden love. I most of the time do not like love triangles. I find them a lot of time forced and that they don't need to be happening so definitely forbidden love i i can enjoy a bit of forbidden love every once in a while and finally question number 25 is full-on romance books that are action-packed with a few love scenes mixed in most likely action-packed with a few love scenes mixed in i'm not a huge fan of like full-on romance novels like i do enjoy contemporary books but i'm not a big fan of just full-on romance novels and i do love me a bit of action so probably action books with a few love scenes mixed in because I do love the like love aspects of it but I don't think it always needs to be the main aspect of the book. So that is the end of the ultimate book tag. I really hope that you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me as a reader. I am going to be tagging three people to do this tag. I'm going to be tagging Ben over at Reading Rejects, Taylor over at Book of Flicks Taylor, and Waverly over at Waverly Reads. I really hope that you guys all do this tag and I'm so excited to see your guys' answers. I'm sure they're going to be great. <laughs> and all of you guys at home can go and do this tag and let me know if you do it and if you do it in a video form definitely leave your videos down below because I would love to watch them or if not just leave your answers in the comments down below. I would love to know what your answers to these questions are as well. And I had a really fun time doing this tag. I haven't done a book tag in a while and I really enjoyed doing it. If you did enjoy this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to be told when I make new videos. I would really appreciate that as well. And yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. I'm Tegan, this is Bookwormia, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello there, everybody, it is Tegan here again today. And long time no see once again it's very difficult to film in the summer in australia